This video is the short version of how to make saddle cuts with your chop saw or band saw. In this video, I'm just trying to fly through the idea of this really quick, just in case you're in a hurry, just in case you want to jog your memory on how it's done, and you're really not looking for a whole lot of extra information on it. In another video, I'm adding on a lot of tips and tricks to it, so be sure to look for that one if you have questions at the end of this video. The basic idea of using your chop saw or band saw to make saddle cuts is you cut the end of your pipe off really nice and square. It's important to keep that end square and nice and pretty. Then you figure out which angle you need your bandsaw set at. And that can vary due to the size of pipe you're joining, the wall thickness of the pipe, and the angle at which you're joining the pipe together. Once you figure out that angle, probably from an online calculator, you cut off one, uh, well, corner of the pipe. And you rotate the pipe half a turn and you cut off the other corner. And you'll end up with this nice little shape, which gives you a perfect saddle cut. Now you might set your chop saw to three different angles depending on what you're doing. The most common one is 33 degrees, which is used when you're joining pipe together of the same size to make a 90 degree or perpendicular connection. If you have two pipes that you're joining that fit perfectly inside of each other like this, and you want the big one to saddle over the little one, the angle you're looking for is 45 degrees. This is actually really common for when you're doing fencing and you have a post that you're putting a top rail on. Also on that post, you might want to join pipe to the side of that bigger post. So to get the small pipe to saddle over the bigger pipe, that magic angle is 20 degrees and you will have a perfect fit. So there you go, that's it in a nutshell. If you have more questions about this, I have a probably a way too long video in which I do a lot of tips and tricks on how to get this done. So be sure to check that one out. Also, I have disabled comments on this video because if you do have questions, maybe the longer video will answer that for you. So please go to the comment section of the long video to ask your question after you've watched the long video, of course. All right, so hopefully here in the end screen, there's a link to the long video. I'll try to leave a link down in the description below. And thanks for watching everybody, and hopefully this trick works for you.